Hello there, this is the Bookkeeper Master on YouTube. Welcome to this video. In this free Sage tutorial, I am going to show you how the quotations feature works on Sage 50 Cloud and Sage 50 Accounts. The process is the same no matter which software you have. In this video, I will demonstrate how to add new quotations, how to edit quotations, how to keep track of quotations as open, won, or lost, and how to convert quotations into sales orders or sales invoices. So let's get started. The first thing to note really about quotations is if you've been raising invoices on Sage using invoices and credits and select a new invoice up here, then you're going to find quotations very straightforward and easy because the process is almost identical. If you can raise sales invoices on Sage, you can easily learn how to add quotations. So we have our quotations module here. We have our list of quotations currently on Sage. And just like all lists on Sage, we can change the order of the rows on this list by simply clicking on the headings here. To add the new quotation, we click on new and we simply just fill in the template. So the date, usually it's going to be today's date and that comes up by default. The account, so this is the customer's account. Let's do ABS Garages LTD. The order number, so this is the quotation number, is auto generated. If you do want a specific order number, quotation number, for whatever reason, you can simply just type that in there and then it will appear on your quotation. The expiry date of the quotation, that is optional. You can leave that the same as the customer order number. If you have one of them or have an expiry date, obviously put that information in. But the only two crucial parts of information at the top right here is the date and the customer's account. Moving over to the quotation itself, we simply just fill in the first row or multiple rows if we're providing a quote for multiple items. So, so let's say we're providing a quote for, let's have a look, this calculator, printing rolls. Okay, so I click on that. We have our description, our quantity. Let's say we're quoting for five. And let's say we're quoting at seven pounds 50 each or seven dot 50 euros or dollars and that's our quotation done if you don't have any product code set up you'll need to go and do that in products and services if you want to add a bit more detailed information to this quote simply just click on the arrow here in the description and there are further options here such as multiple lines for the description the VAT code and that sort of thing it's the same as invoices and credits so all of this appears on invoices and credits when you go to raise an invoice. So if we're happy with our quotation, I can click save. So it's five at seven pounds 50 each. So 45 pounds in total. Let's save this quotation. And this quotation by default will appear. Here it is, quotation number 34. ABS Garages LTD, £45. By default, it will appear on this list and be open. If I want to edit this quotation, I just simply highlight it, click Edit. I'm taken back to that template. I can edit in any information I want. Let's say it's now £7.25. So £43.50. If I save that, that quotation has now been edited. The quotation is currently open. We can change the status of this quotation by using the options here. We have mark as open, mark as lost, mark as one. So if this quotation was lost, let's say the client never went for this product and never wanted to purchase our calculators, we can click mark as lost you can now see the status of this quotation is lost. Let's say the customer comes back and now actually wants 
the calculators, I can do them a new quotation if the price has changed, or I can simply click mark as open and it will mark it as open. Obviously, you need to have the quotation highlighted, the one you want to change the status of. So that's the basics of adding quotations and editing quotations. This quotation, number 34, £43.50, if I go to sales orders, you'll see that it's already been created. So as you add a quotation, that quotation will automatically be open in sales orders or invoices and credits. It's not showing here in invoices and credits, it's showing in sales orders, and I'll show you how to change that in a moment. You can see in sales orders though, that it's showing as QTE, quote. It's not actually showing as an order. The same thing would happen if we had an item appear, a quote appear in invoices and credits. It will show as QTE, quote, not an actual invoice. To change the status of a sales order or an invoice, the quote has to be marked as one. So this ABS garages, £43.50. If this item has been marked as one, let's say the customer wants to go ahead with the order, I can click mark as one. That's now one. If I go to sales orders, you can see the QTE, the quote, has changed to ord, order. The same thing would happen with invoices and credits. So we have a quote here cheese factory nine pounds eleven let's see if we can find that in here okay so nine pounds eleven cheese factory if we mark this as one it will now create the invoice so this is no longer a quote but an invoice that we can print off so what's the whole point of quotations there are two main reasons why people use quotations number one is to create quotations that they can send to their customers and keep track of the quotations as open, won or lost. The other reason why people create quotations and use the quotations feature is that it auto feeds into sales orders or invoices and streamlines that process. So it automates the invoices or sales invoices. As mentioned earlier, I'm going to show you now how to adjust whether the sales, the uh, quotation goes to sales orders or goes to sales invoices. It won't go to both. It goes to one or the other. You go to settings, invoice and order defaults. Under the general tab, we have convert quotes to company that's set as sales orders. So any quotes that are created will automatically appear in sales orders. If I change that to invoices and click OK, going forward, any quotations that are created will now appear in sales invoices. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully this has helped you. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe and watch more of my videos.